Hello everyone and welcome. Today we will be unboxing the Anycubic Cobra 3 combo. Let's get right to it. Okay, so we have the user manual, then we have, looks like um, a drive, filament, a lot of other accessories. Right here we have the nozzle. Wow, this thing is fancy. Have, I'm not sure what this is. Cables, lots of cables. I'm not sure why they need three, but we'll see. This looks like a filament holder that we have to assemble later. And then we have the screen. We'll connect that in just a little bit. Now we have the printer. So, here we have the printer. And the AMS right here. Because I did get the combo. It's very well packed, which is really good because the box was pretty beat up when it came in the mail. So, let's see if we can get this out of here carefully. Wow, look at that. Okay, now we're gonna get our print head and this uh, orange cable. We're gonna put it right into here. And then we have some screws to fasten it in right here. Okay, now we are going to fasten the tool head on with screws here, 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 and here. We're gonna screw from the back. We're gonna screw the top ones in first with the number two screws. Okay, now we're gonna plug the screen into this plug on the side. And then we're gonna screw this onto the side of the printer right here with the number three screws. Okay, now we're gonna put this other orange cable down under here. It'll clip in just like that. Now we're gonna get this cable holder right here. I'm gonna stick it right in this little groove. And then this is the print head cord. It's got two little notches here. It's gonna come on the back of this. Just clip in there like that. Now we have the purge wiper and we're gonna install this back here. We're gonna use the number four screws. One is longer, the longer one is gonna come underneath here. Shorter one is gonna go through here and this is gonna come on, kind of clip on the back like that. Okay, now we're gonna insert the filament tube here and then down to here. Now we have these two pieces. This is the filament holder. I'm just gonna put this in like this and then twist it till it stops. And then we're gonna just slide it right onto here like that. Now we're gonna connect the Ace Pro AMS. Now we're gonna grab the cord that has one end with four, four prongs and one end with six prongs. We're gonna get the one with six. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna plug it into the back of the Ace Pro. Now we're gonna plug this end down in here, like so. Now we're gonna grab these four long tubes. We're gonna plug them in from here Make them go through these four little holes down in here and then down into our AMS. So we're gonna get the power cord. We're just gonna plug it in here and then into the wall and this is, um, it comes with an extra cord. Okay, I lied to you. It's not an extra cord, it just goes to the Ace Pro. I'm gonna turn it on. There's a little switch on the side where it plugs in. There we go. Now we're gonna set it up. English. Global. Now it is scanning for Wi Fi. I'm going to connect to my Wi Fi. Now the Wi Fi is connected. And this is, let's see, it says scan QR code to install the app, log into the app, and scan QR code to connect to the printer. I'm just going to skip for now. And it says enjoy your 3D printing. And that is to put the files in which 
It's right here. Let's see how this comes off. Okay, there we go. This comes down in here. Like so. There we go. So it just automatically started doing a self-test. So it's gonna finish these steps and then we'll be good. Now it's on the second step or third step and it's auto leveling. Right now it's preheating, then it'll wipe the nozzle and probe. Okay, now it's finished step three. It says uh, resonance compensation is about to start. Please ensure the printer is placed stably and avoid any other sources of vibration. There we go. Okay, now it has finished. Let's see what this says. General settings. Okay, fans on. Now we're gonna put the filament in. Should automatically detect it. Okay, now that we're finished setting up, we can click on print, test model files, and I'm gonna do this speed benchy. It says it should take 15 minutes. Let's start printing that and let's do it in blue. So we're gonna select three. Please select the material color. So we can, okay, PLA, color is blue. Okay, save, print. And put a little glue on here. While we're waiting for that to print, I'm gonna show you some of the accessories. We have some wrenches that it comes with. We have these Allen keys. We have a little, um, this is what the nozzle wipes on before it starts to print to make sure there's no excess filament. We have a nozzle unclogger. And then we have some lubricant. It is not edible. Last and certainly least, we have some filament. It's pretty fast. Look at it go. So what I love about this is it shows how many seconds how many minutes and seconds are left, so it's counting down, but also it shows the exact percentage. Okay, so that is how to set it up. Our print is finished here, and it's got really good quality, especially for the speed. It only took 15 minutes to print this. I'm really impressed with it. So that concludes um, unboxing and setting this up. Please like and subscribe.